This video will demonstrate how to create a hillshade layer in ArcGIS Pro and enhance it a little bit to make it look nice. Uh, they have a detailed depiction of the terrain that we can use uh, in our maps and analysis. So we're starting out with the DEM. Uh, this is the area in Benton County, Washington near the Yakima River. And what we're going to start with is just making a basic hillshade using the default options. So if you go into your um, analysis uh, toolbox and search for uh, hillshade, you can get it right here. And we'll go ahead and put in the DEM as the input raster. Uh, output raster, I'm just going to call uh, default hillshade. The Z factor will be one in this case. Our vertical units are matching our XY units down here. Both are measured in meters. If they were not both measured in meters, uh, we would need to get those to match up either by running raster calculator uh, to adjust these units or by running a project tool to run uh, adjust these units. Or we could set a Z factor other than one um, uh, describing the difference between the units. Let's go ahead and run this tool. Here's our default hill shade. Uh, we just want to make sure that it looks fine. It's an artistic depiction of the terrain. There's a few little weird artifacts in here that are coming from the DEM itself. We're just going to ignore those in this case. Our, notice our values are between 0 and 256. Uh, that's just a value of lightness or darkness, depending on whether a shadow or shaded area has been modeled here. These pixel values really don't mean anything. Um, they're just for uh, drawing the hillshade artistically. Now uh, let's enhance this, make it look a little bit nicer. What we're going to do here is apply uh, some transparency. So we're going to go to the um, Appearance tab. And this transparency bar will allow us to make the hillshade a little more transparent. We're going to make it 60% transparent so that we can see that DEM underneath. And uh, if you have trouble getting the slider right on the money, you can just type it in like that. Okay, notice how this gives us more visual cue about how, uh, where the elevation goes upward. And uh, you can choose any color ramp you want here. So if you right click down in your DEM color ramp, uh, you've got a lot of other choices. Uh, some of them which are very nice for uh, uh, depicting terrain. I could use this one, for example. It goes from uh, just green to brown. I actually want the higher elevations to be uh, brown in my case, uh, and that's what they are. Uh, green elevations are lower, so we can see this ridge here, uh, and we can see this ridge over here. Uh, so this is looking nicer, but there's even more we could do to accentuate some of these uh, changes in relief, uh, these canyons and so on. One trick for doing that is to make a slope layer and to just very lightly uh, add it to the top of this uh, with the transparency applied. So uh, let's search for the slope tool and make that slope using spatial analyst tools. And make sure here for your input raster you don't put the hill shade. You're, you're going to get uh, something pretty weird if you do that. So make sure you put in the DEM and uh, we'll just call this uh, something like Benton Slope. It doesn't matter whether you have output in degrees or um, or percent for this. Uh, we do want to make sure our Z factor is correct with this data. We're using one, uh, so let's go ahead and run the slope. By default, when you run a slope in ArcGIS, uh, the output is symbolized with this classified look uh, from white to brown. Um, we're going to change this so that we're going from white to gray or dark gray. Uh, so let's go to the symbology. We're going to change classify to stretch. And this will give us a more continuous view. And then we're just going to uh, invert this color scheme here. Okay, so in the case of dark to light, uh, we could choose format color scheme. This is just one way to do it. And then reverse the color scheme like this. Click OK. So now notice where we've got a lot of change in relief, such as this little canyon uh, or these little valleys. Uh, we have a darker color. And what we're going to do with this is make it about 80% transparent. As we make this transparent, uh, you'll see the other stuff coming through and how this slope layer really relates to the landscape. So here it's at 100%. We can't see it. And I like to set it kind of down around 80, 85. If you get too much, it looks a little uh, overdone. Um, so you're just trying to hit the sweet spot here of uh, using it to enhance the look of that slope. 
Okay, so here's our final output layer. Um, and if you wanted to, you could add these to a scene, uh, tilt them, look at it in 3D. Uh, I show how to do that in the other video about visibility analysis. Uh, but you could, certain, uh, you could certainly apply those techniques uh, with these uh, slope, and shade, uh, slope and hill shade layers uh, to look at this in three dimensions.